Hi everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Night Live with me, Sarah Page Gruber from Creative Sarah. Gonna get creative with you. We're gonna do something from one of our chalk stories. If you guys haven't um, seen those, they are a package of um, transfers or like a selection of transfers which are all themed the same. We have one called the Bee's Knees, which I'm using tonight. We have one that is called Market or, I'm really bad at this. Um, one called like, Mer no, Corner Market, which is kind of like, um, farmhouse meets the corner store type of thing. And then we have one called the Homegrown Collection, which is very um, like gardener, gardener-ish-ish. Okay, but tonight we're gonna play with um, two transfers from the Bees Knees Collection, so that's gonna be fun. Um, Bumblebees are all the rage, you know, so that should be awesome. From California, Patty, hello, Gail, hi, hi. Shannon and Joyce and Denise, hello, everybody. Darcy, Terry and Ginger, howdy. Okay, so let me move my camera angle, or my, ooh, we don't need to show all that. There. Um, okay, so we will, let's do this, move slightly, there we go, okay. So I have this board that I made a while ago, and when I had come back from our leadership convention, I'm trying to scooch over, there we go. Uh, when we came back from our leadership convention, we had all the glitter shimmer paste, and so I was really excited to use it. I made this, and it, it was down here for a while, just sprayed it with some water. And I'm going to grab one of our board erasers. This is um, a, a brand new one actually because um, it is, just because it is. <laughs> you know, like how I talk? Um, I can't find, I don't, I don't know what happened to my other one, the one that I was using. So, this is just a wooden board that I had painted with black chalkboard paste. I sanded it and I waxed it. So when I make boards like this, my hope is that I can reuse them. That's the whole point. Um, I love making stuff. And as sad as I am to kind of erase them, I'm gonna make something really cool Anyway, and so no matter how much you love your artwork, you don't have enough wall space, really, to have everything all the time. And so you wanna kinda make new things. At least that's how I am. So, if you love being crafty like I do, and your wall space Let's say you've got, um, you know, just certain areas that you can decorate and you run out of room to really show off all of your stuff. Well, this, um, you know, one of our taglines is, um, um, <laughs> I, I, I know this design, love, repeat. Uh, and the whole point of Chaka Tour is the repeat. Our whole company was founded on this um, concept of design, you know, design and create and have fun making awesome artwork and then love it, you know, love it for as long as you want or as long as it's in season and then repeat, do it again, clean it off make a new one because our transfers are reusable you're able to do that process over and over which is really cool hello from alberta canada hi don marie 
Hi, hello, hello. Oh, I can't move that one. I'm trying to look at Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Christy. Hi, Shannon and Karen. Hey, hey. Okay, so this particular board I actually had and still do. I had a lot of glitter on it. The reason why I had glitter is because I had added my own glitter to that. When the chalk paste was wet, if you add glitter, it sticks to it and it stays really, really well. So now I'm just trying to rid the board of the glitter and we will wipe this as best we can with our, you know when I chalk, I, I, I say this every once in a while and I know I've said it before, but when I chalk, I always keep a towel kind of on my lap. It's for wiping my hands, it's for cleaning things, and then I have like this tiny cute little laundry basket under my desk and I just throw my towels down there when they get dirty and I have a set of just craft room towels. And of course I um, want them all to be teal. So they are cute and matchy and that's what I do. So this board looks pretty good. Um, sometimes when I wash off my board, I wanna put another little coating of wax on it. Um, I know that I washed off quite a bit of the paint here. And if you know me, you know that the more distressed it gets, the better it is. I love the style. I always kind of have. I have a real hard time creating things that are perfect. Like nothing I ever do is perfect. And because of that, I feel like when you distress things or you make it that, um, that old vintage look, it hides a lot of flaws that otherwise would kind of show, show up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that looks great. Let's talk about the bee's knees. Am I seeing comments? Awesome, Darcy, thank you. Okay, so the bee's knees, these are the two transfers that I have. This one, I'm using the honeycombs from here. I cannot wait because they're already distressed. You can imagine what I'm gonna do. You know I love the background um, images. And this is called, Home is Where the Honey Is. And I do love that saying and I will be making some things with that because it's adorable. Home is where the honey is. And then um, the other one is called, why can't I? Oh, it's going down. I am going to change something a little. Oh no, that's not what I want. All right, that should be okay. I just am trying to adjust things and make things a little different. But um, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay, let's see if that really. I don't just want my face. That's okay. There. Um, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Janelle. Okay, so home is where the honey is. This is gonna be a cute one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the honey pot or anything today, but I'm gonna definitely use those. So we will um, kind of snip them off on the cut lines really quickly. Um, whether I use both of them or what, I'm not sure. But there's one, there's two. And booyah. So we got those two fun things. I'm gonna set this aside so that we can 
put it away when we are finished. And then this one is called Sweeter Than Honey. Yes, yeah, Sweeter Than Honey. And it is a B size. The other one was a C size, which makes it a $24.99. This is a $14.99. And we're going to use um, definitely the words Sweeter Than Honey and then the little... Um, Honey Bee Farms, established 1894. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to use the hive, but I am definitely going to use a bumblebee or two. Oh, I guess I could put the little hive right there. That would be cute. And then we'll do some bumblebees. Goodness gracious. Okay, so we've got all of this going on. Set this back over here. I am going to write on the back. So. B. Big B. And Hive. There. A lot of times it's hard when you have things that are similar size to figure out the backing. Honey and farms. Big combs and little combs. Okay. Before I put any of this stuff, I am going to do this. Use this as my background. Good evening from Arizona. How's the weather out in Arizona today? We will do a little fuzzing on this just, just to be safe. And you guys know, if you've been watching me, you know that I'm gonna go off the edge with these honeycombs. Or hopefully you know that. You know what to expect from me. And I love corners and edges, and I love to work it. So my honeycombs are going to be fawn. So we're gonna go ahead and just open this up, give it a good stir. start putting that all over the board. Okay. Making sure it's, we have a nice, nice creamy um, consistency with our fawn. So, I noticed lots and lots of um, more Canadians are watching because they're getting ready for us to launch in Canada. Um, if you are from the US and you're watching and you are not a designer, that may not mean a lot to you, but to us it is super duper exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this so that I can layer my transfer right over it. Now I'm not cleaning this off. I'm just gonna lay it back down try to get as many passes as I can. That did not dry as quickly as it usually does. North Dakota brandy. Wow. Is it cold? I bet it's colder than it is here for sure. Just going to kind of line this up. I lined up one of the hexagons and then I won't go over that one again, but I will go over the its neighbors, do as, the best that I absolutely can. Okay, 
there we go. Get this fawn all taken care of. Beautiful. My color scheme is going to be fairly... Now I'm going to turn this. I'm going to dry that and turn it and lay it back down on a different way. Try to come out here. I don't want it a uh, repeating pattern like what I just... You can see that repeated pattern. I don't want to continue to repeat that. Okay. So... What we'll do is, that looks pretty good. I'm putting it down as much as I can without getting too much on my hands. And then, I'm just, I, uh, just to line it up, I'm just using um, the hexagons that are already down there. I'm just kind of like attaching it. There we go. Okay, so the perfect thing happened, and it's starting to wear. So the more you use your transfer, the more chalk gets stuck inside those little... Um, screened areas so we want to wash it and we're just gonna I'm gonna do a cheat way of washing a transfer so I'm not putting it fully into the water I'm just going to spray it with water and then use this uh, wipe it is a, a members mark I just get these from Sam's Club you can use any brand of disinfectant wipe that you want and just kind of kind of clean it up just to get the chalk out from the screen. But I'm not fully submerging, so it won't take a long time to dry. That's what you want to avoid. And then I'm going to take my cloth that I always have on my lap. I'm going to go over it again. And the sticky part stays sticky. That's the cool thing. If you have a non-stick mat or this awesome Tim Holtz glass mat, that will work. And I just need to dry off a little bit. Oh, too bad, Beth. Tell Becca I'm sorry. Basketball team lost. And of course, when you say Bellevue, I think of Ohio and not Michigan every time. Every time it gets me. Um, I grew up in Bellevue, Ohio. However, we live kind of close to Bellevue, Michigan. And they're both like little small towns, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, let's move down to this bottom corner. We're going to put a little bit more of this stuff. There we go. Hmm. I don't know if this is all the way cleaned. Sometimes I go through a lot of these. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. And I know I'm on my board, but it's all right. It's going to be okay. Where do I want to put this? I'll put it up there. Okay. So there we go. Let's do some more. Do some more fawn chalking. Of course, the first pass is always the easiest. There we go. And we're going to pick it up. It would go a little bit quicker if I didn't have to line it up with, um, I wouldn't have to dry this, you know, but I will. I'm going to put it up this side a little bit. The colors I'm using for my words will be um, pretty cool looking. Let's see. 
Maybe I'll turn it um, slightly. Got to make sure I'm turning it the right way. There we go. Make sure it's stuck down where it needs to be. Dip in the chalk paste. Patty, stop it right now. St. Mary's, Ohio. I believe my sister, oh gosh. Beth, if you're still on here, I believe she taught at a school in St. Mary's. I really, really think that she taught at a school. Is there a little tiny school there? <laughs> like a little tiny Catholic school. Maybe it wasn't St. Mary's. I can't remember. And I know not St. Mary's the school, but like the town. I know what you're saying. I... Yeah. I don't know. I have these memories. We're both teachers, my sister and I. And I know she taught at some Catholic schools in Ohio before moving up here. So I was, and that sounds really familiar. Yeah. Yes, yes, Beth. So my sister taught in a school in St. Mary's. That's really cool, Patty. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it is a small world, don't you know? Oh, just trying to fill in this little corner right here. Okay. Um, part of me, Selena, Millersville, oh, Millersville, oh, no, 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 see, that's not what I was thinking, where is St. Mary's, I know that I've heard of it, but I don't know where everything is, I've heard of a lot of places, I just... We're gonna try to put a little bit down the side and my, I'm running out of good screen to use. So it's gonna to be totally um, distressed. You know, that look of distressed. I need a little bit more here just to kind of finish that up. Oh, these are really, really tough right there. Okay. Hey, dude. Hey. And we'll do a couple over here. There's Cherry 7 up. What? Cherry 7 up? Well, I suppose you could have one, although it is Aunt Beth's. If Aunt Beth says you can... Yeah, I remember you taught all those grades in one classroom. Is Aunt Beth even here, Mom? She's on my live. Aunt Beth, can Ryan have a Cherry 7 Up? Okay. There is my background. Now I'm going to put this inside the water bath to get washed. I have a question, Mom. What's your question? Um, would you like it if I started hanging up pictures in my room again, like when I was four? Um, oh, all your posters that you're making? Yeah. Well, how about if I do that one big one on your wall with the words? Which words? Go to the side of the thing. We got that really cool sports word transfer. It's hanging up the brand new transfers. Right there. Now turn around. See if you can find the one with all the words. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of it's no, it's just sports words. I'm gonna do that one on his wall. Okay. Make sure all of this is dry. Strength what? Strength sweat finish. Aunt Beth. Aunt Beth said hi, Ryan, and yes. Have a cherry seven up. Okay, so we've got this done. 
Now, I didn't use that and that's okay. We're gonna put our words on and I'm not sure how this is gonna go. So I might wanna sand this a little bit. First I will, I will um, fuzz it. And then I want to see where it's gonna where it's gonna go. Sweeter than honey. I could move it over. I, I kind of wanted it centered. What if I changed it to look like this? What do you think of that? Thing right there and then I could put a little bee on the beehive I could put a little bee okay let's do it that way let's turn our board and do it up and down or whatever vertical oh this is so hi Priscilla hi Shirley it's so hard to open. My hands are so weak. Oh my gosh. I just used it last night. Oh, deep breath. I need some spinach. Half of you are asking why I said that. And the other half are thinking I'm a goofball. Oh my goodness. I need to clean this one out. I need to clean it out. This is not good. All this goop, the dried chalk needs to come out. It's just that this is such a big container that I'm pretty lazy about cleaning it. Look at that. That's all like dried chalk. And it's my own fault. Like you shouldn't have that much. You should always mix it in at the end. But sometimes I'm not exactly as good as I should be. I'm gonna throw that away. Clean up my hands. Craziness right there. Okay. Sweeter than honey. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of a sweeter than candy on a stick. <laughs> it's another song, singing my crazy songs. Oops, I think I forgot to push this down, shoot. That is a bad thing to do, don't ever do that. Learn from me. Always make sure your stuff is pushed down before you start chalking. Cherry, cherry, or la. <laughs> okay, stop singing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm singing lollipop. That's what that song is. Lollipop. Here we go. Awesome. Looks good. Stick that into just that curled up on me a tiny bit. Usually pretty good about not having that happen. Priscilla, I have cut my buffalo plaid transfer. 
Um, I've actually cut a smaller piece out of it so that I could use that smaller piece on some smaller projects without having to worry about messing up the giant transfer. So you certainly can do it. It makes, um, I am going to fuzz this a lot more than I fuzzed the other one. So it makes your job a little bit easier, you know, and especially depending on how you use it and what you use it on, it will work. Okay. Now we want to make sure that I have enough space for my Beehive. Might put it down just a little bit. But the lollipop is my. I love like 50s and 60s music. Okay. This will become more storm. So we've got so far bland colors, storm and fawn, but we are going to spice it up very soon. We're gonna add some little pops of color. Okay, Honey Bee Farms. Dry it, and we'll do our... Oh! Blasted. I need to do that again. My flower is not... That's not supposed to be... It's not supposed to be that color. So let me clean this really quick. Dab nab it. It's okay. I just wasn't thinking. Because I have my pretty colors. Alright, so we'll let that sit there for a minute. I'm just gonna double um chalk it. You can do that. But I want to clean my area for a sec. Okay. And we'll get this all like dried off. This is another way to speed dry something. My scissors are awesome to an extent. They are sharp, they are super sharp, but the handle broke like the first day I got them. And um, since they came in my Sparkle Hustle Grow Box, I didn't like bother to return anything. line up this little image. Okay. There we go. I need guava, my new favorite color, and bumblebee. Bumblebee is new. And we're going to have to open that up. Well, that was just about as perfect as I have gotten lately. Okay, 
So we gotta stir up our bumblebee. Oh, it is a nice bright color. This is the first bumblebee I've actually opened because I had so much lemon yellow left from our other color palette. It's nice and juicy. And of course, oh, guava, I love you. Okay. All right, so let's get little, we're gonna do, um, a guava flower. May have put too much on here. Okay. And then, eh, we're just gonna go ahead and do guava on this whole thing. Not the words, just the little fun. There we go. All righty. Now we should be good to go. Awesome. It's going to show up. A little accent color. Dry this and we'll get our, our beehive. Beehive could be um, I'm gonna make the beehive pretty instead of like um, accurate in color. Hi, Karen. Okay. All right, so watch what I do. This is my new technique. Well, it's my technique to show you. We are going to do some guava. And some of this. And my handy tool. It's my finger. Guava and bumblebee make the most will make the most beautiful sunset color, just so you know. I am using my finger to push this through and blend. I want it to be very blended so that when I lift it off, Voila. Okay, can you guys see? It almost doesn't even look like guava anymore because it is like a blended color. Pretty, pretty. Fun little technique that you can try. And now we're gonna do some little bumblebees on our honey. Now I kind of wish I did more yellow on that. That would take me a little bit of time to, again, wash that transfer, but. All right, this bumblebee, for some reason, I cannot. Oh my gosh, I never have. There we go. Just take a break, Sarah, chillax. I'm gonna make this bumblebee perch on this itty bitty hive down here. Hi Lisa! Finger tools, yes. So we got this little bumblebee right down there. Very cute. 
And how about I put a little bumblebee on my Y? Okay, then this one will come out. So I'm going to clean it up and redo it because I don't like the look of it now. And the other bumblebee is going to. Oh, for the love, why can't I open these today? Hi, Kathy. Fuzzing my bee. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bee. He is going to fly that away. And one, two, three. That's probably all I need. Now, we gotta do one more thing, because I'm not happy. And if I'm not happy, nobody's happy. So let's just get this taken care of. Yes, yet again, I am going to line up this transfer, and I'm going to change the color. We are going to start with a little bit of this, and we are going to end with a little bit of that. And we'll use our finger to blend. Okay, let's see how it looks. I think better. I'll show you up close. After I wash off my hands, there's a little bit of color and a little bit of um, neutrals going on here. So my little technique there for my um, that is really a 3D. So I put three layers on it. That cool technique. My little bees. My bees. My bees knees. So this is a little fun play with some of the bees knees collection, which is available now from our spring and summer catalog, which is live in the... Um, on my website which is linked it is a pinned link right in here in these comments so you can at your leisure go check that out there are um, a couple other ones that are with the bees knees collection so it's it's more than just two um, of these and let me come out here and tell you that if you enjoyed this and I um, I came right downstairs and um, had to print out some tax information so I did some work first and then I 
um, went live and I haven't checked, but we are going to give away, um, we're gonna give away some free stuff. We're gonna play a game inside my VIP group, my Chalk Nation. So if you aren't in there and you want to get the link, um, comment in the words, add me, and I'll give you the link to get into my Chalk Nation VIP group. And that's where I put my discounted bundles. Every once in a while we have sales in there and I share my lives. I do special artwork and stuff just for my VIP group as well. You can get in there and check it out. If you um, have not heard about me talk about my opportunity group, I want you to know that every Monday night I have a group and I go live inside of there and all I do is do a little presentation on what it's like to be a designer, how you can become a designer. If you've ever been curious, that's where you wanna to go to check it out. Totally no pressure um, atmosphere. Like just go on in, watch the videos. There are a couple different videos and you can get the gist, watch those and then um, be done. You can always um, watch at your leisure because they are lives and they're recorded. So you can always watch the replay. Just go ahead and type join if you're interested in that link and I'll give you the link. And then if you want in on our awesome uh, monthly subscription, you're going to get a B size transfer. Um, the one as large as this board, you're gonna get a B-size transfer, you're gonna get three chalk colors and access to an exclusive, well it is an exclusive transfer, you can't buy it, I can't even buy it, did you know that? We are unable to buy those club couture transfers, that's what our subscription is called. And if you have an, um, uh, oh what was I gonna say? I'm trying to see if I have enough shares to play our game yet. The Club Couture subscription program is just $19.99 a month. And when you opt in, you're gonna go for three months. You pay it as you go, so it's just $19.99 a month, and it's free shipping. So legit, you do not pay. It's $19.99 and that is it. You can, um, you can, um, opt in now and it will get you going for April. So if you go on the website and if you want more information, just type in the word club and I will give you the link and you can check that out. So uh, we got add me club, join, all of those good things. And I think that's about it for me. Hopefully you guys will come back tomorrow. Remember this is the 10 days of going live. It is a 10 day challenge. And um, I actually challenged my team to do this and we are working through it so I am doing it too so that I can be a good example for them. Please do a video with a watering can transfer. You know, Denise, I've got it right over there and um, I walked by it today and I was like, oh, I gotta do something with this. It's a lot bigger than it looks in the catalog. So I have to see where I want to put it. I have to put it on something big. So um, I will definitely use that watering can soon. But awesome, awesome. Okay, so unless you have any questions, I hope you love that new technique that I showed you today. And I will, um, I guess I will catch you on the flip side. I gotta clean up in time to do a little, um, another, um, call tonight. So another live. All right. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.